Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Filmora 9, a powerful video editing software. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Filmora 9, show you how to use it, and also show you some of its amazing features. So let's dive in and get started right away. And I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Filmora 9. And make sure to click the links down below to try Filmora 9 for free, so you can follow along this demonstration as well. At the end of this video, here is the movie that we're going to end up creating so you can see the output before I show you the actual tutorial. All right, so what we have right over here, we have the media library. And then over here, what we have is we have the preview window where you can preview your clips and also your movie. And of course, at the bottom here, we have our timeline. This is where you stitch your movie together to make a brand new movie. And of course, in the top, you have access to all your tools. You got your media library, which is this one right here. You got your audio library. You got your titles, transitions, effects, elements and the split screen options, which I'm gonna be talking about. So let's go back to media. The first thing you wanna do is you want to import some media into your video editor. To do that, you can double click right over here, or what you can do is you can cancel this and tap on import right here and simply choose import media files. Now let me go to my downloads right over here and I'm gonna go into my video clips. I'm gonna grab a bunch of car clips that I have. So let's select all these clips. I'm gonna click on open. And as you can see, they've all been imported into my media bin. I'm gonna click no on this, run real quick. When I double click on this, you can see the preview of the clip right over here on the right side. So you can, in fact, preview clips right from here. The other thing you can do is you can grab any one of these files and just drag them into your timeline, as you can see, and then you choose the resolution that you want to use. In this case, I'm gonna use the match the media, so I'm gonna click on it. Now we have a little movie at the back, at the bottom right over here in our timeline. And of course, you can preview your timeline in this window as well by clicking the play button. All right, now what else I can do here is I can shorten the clips if I wanna use a smaller portion of a given clip. So I just drag from the edges and make it, uh, bring it to the size that I wanna bring it to. So let's go for five seconds right here, okay? I'm gonna grab another clip right over here. Let me grab this one. I'm gonna dump it here as well. I'm gonna also shorten this to five seconds. So the duration is gonna be approximately five seconds right over here, so I have a second clip. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one more. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna put it at the bottom right here. Let's bring that to five seconds as well. So we have three five second clips next to each other. So now when I go back over here and if I click play, you'll see that it's gonna play this clip for five seconds, then it's gonna go over to the other clip, and then it's gonna go over to the last clip as you can see, all right? So we already have a small little movie. Now let's dive in and talk about more features and how to enhance this kind of project with nice effects and transitions. So the first thing you wanna talk about is the pan and zoom feature that allows you to zoom in on a given clip on your timeline. So let's uh, choose this clip, the first clip right here, the five second clip. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go into my crop and zoom functionality, all right? And then on the top, I'm gonna go to pan and zoom. So the start of the clip starts from here, the green rectangle here. And then I can click on this inner rectangle and that's gonna be the end of it where the clip is gonna zoom into. So I can move this around. So I'm gonna bring this right over here. I can resize it a little bit. I can do whatever I want with this one. I can even zoom in onto a particular area. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pan and zoom. So after you're done, this is the start point. That's the whole clip and that's the end point that it's gonna be zoomed into after the clip plays for five seconds. I can preview what's happening. So I'm gonna click on preview and that's exactly what's gonna happen with the actual timeline at the bottom. I'm gonna click OK, and now when I play this thing, take a look at what happens. So when I click on play, see what happens. 
All right, so as the clip was playing, it was panning and zooming the way I actually programmed it. So that's fantastic, the pan and zoom feature. The next feature I want to talk about has to do with the split screen effects. So we have a lot of presets here. I can click on a preset. It's going to preview here. It's going to show you what it does. All right, so that's one. Uh, that's another one right here, as you can see. Now, let's show you an actual example. So I'm going to pick this one right here. So if I want to use this split screen, I'm going to grab this, drag and drop it right over here. And then after you drag and drop it, you're going to see a button here that says advanced. So I'm going to click on advanced. All right. And what I can do is I can choose clip number one and clip number two. So for clip number one, I'm going to choose a clip from my media bin. Let's say I'm going to do this one. I'm going to click on plus. It's going to show up right there. I can also rearrange it. So I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to click on clip number two and I'm going to choose a clip number two. Let's do uh, this one right here. OK, so let me pull this down so I can now see car from two different angles on one scene. When I'm ready, I click OK. All right. Or I can preview the whole thing right here, as you can see. So I click OK. And now I have this thing at the bottom, this split screen. Uh, by the way, once I'm done, I'm going to click on OK. So we're back into the regular stuff. So take a look at this. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click play. And now I have that beautiful animation and I'm able to see the car from two different angles. So that's a split screen option. Amazing option. So now let me show you a couple more things. I'm going to then show you the grouping feature. So first, I'm going to show you something very simple. When you move from clip to clip, what you want to do is you want to add some kind of transition effect uh, inside it so it looks better as it transitions from one clip to the other. So what I can do in this scenario is I can go to transition. I can pick any one of these effects and I can preview them by double clicking them. You'll see it right here. Things like this right over here. OK, so let's uh, use this one right here, the flash effect. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it between these two clips, as you can see. And when I play one clip to the other, it transitions using the flash effect. And then I can also use a dissolve effect. I can put that here between these two clips. So now when I click play, take a look at what happens. So that's the dissolve transition effect. So you can put transition effects, no problem. And one more thing I'm going to show you. Let's go to the beginning of the clip. And let's say I want to add a title to my screen to show people what I'm talking about in the video. I can go to my titles options on the top, grab any one of these titles, and also click, double click to preview them, as you can see and then drag and drop it right over here, resize it as I please. And then when I go over, you'll see if I double click on this one, there's an edit window here. So here it says directed by, and at the bottom I can say uh, Saki Tech, or you can say anything you want. You can give your clip a title, such as my car interior in this case. Now, when you click okay, after double clicking, by the way, anytime you wanna edit it, you double click, it goes right back. I can even grab these and I can change the size of the font, the type of the font right from here. Let's just change the font just, just so you guys can see. So we're going to grab this one and increase the size just a little bit. Let's go to 28. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go back over here, click on Play to preview. Look at that. We have a title. All right. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's say I grab this clip by mistake and put it right over here. As you can see, the transition effect just disappeared. So when I put this back over here, the transition effect is gone. What I really wanted to do was I wanted to move all these three together. Now, to make it all easy and to keep everything intact, what I can do is I can select everything I want to group together. All right. And what I can do is I can right click and I can tap on group. Now, that whole thing is packaged together as a group. So when I click on this, one, two, three, four of these are selected. And when I move it, entire thing moves around. OK, so that's good. I don't have to select everything. I just select one item in the whole group and I can move the whole thing around. No problem. And when you're done, you can also ungroup it uh, if you don't want to keep them grouped together. Now they're ungrouped. So if I grab this, it's just a single piece I'm moving around. OK. Now, sometimes when you record a clip, what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to do some color tuning. 
So this clip, just as an example, might be a little bit too dark or maybe too bright. What you want to be able to do in a video editing suite is to change the color to make it more clean to the eyes. So let's say I wanted to change the color tuning of this clip right here. So I click the clip that I want to change and then I go over here and what I have here is an option known as advanced color tuning. When I click on it, all right, I get this window right here and from here I can adjust basically everything for that clip including the white balance. As you can see, I can change the temperature on this as I please. You can see it shows a difference. So I'm editing it at a high level right over here. So let's keep it right here. I can change the tint. Take a look at that. All right. And then I can even go down to all these windows. I can change the uh, 3D LUT options. So I can go over here and I can pick these presets. So let's take a look at this. When I pick Batman, look at how nice and film like that looks right over here the 3d lot batman effect so i can change the coloring so that's look exposure brightness contrast vibrance and saturation i can change all these things and make this clip brighter or lighter as i please i can change the light from here highlights shadows whites blacks and every single thing that you can think of is right here let's add this effect right here a little bit okay Take a look at how much more cinematic it looks as opposed to this after just a little bit of editing. So I'm going to click OK when I'm done. And now when I go from here to here, look at the difference in quality of this clip right here. So that's advanced color tuning. Let's go over here and change this to advanced also. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to go to 3D LUT and then I'm going to pick Batman right here as well. Again, looks much better, more cinematic. Let's do the same thing over here, advanced color grading, go to this one and choose Batman. But I do have all these other options as you can see if, if whatever you desire is in here. So I'm going to click OK. Now look how much nicer the whole thing just looks. It looks much more cinematic as opposed to the plain colors I had before. The next thing we're going to talk about is the speed adjusting feature that allows you to slow down clips or make them run faster. So I'm going to grab a clip. So I'm going to double click on the window here and I'm going to import this clip and I'm going to grab the clip. I'm going to put it on my timeline right over here. And real quick, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to detach the audio. And by the way, you can detach audio from a clip and then delete the audio. So I don't need the audio right now. So when I go over to the clip, you can see this is a moving clip. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this clip move faster. So all you need to do is right click on the clip and go for the speed and duration effect. From here, you can increase or decrease the speed right from here using this dialer. When you have it at one, it just means regular speed. So if you type in 10, it means 10 times faster. When I click OK, the clip just shrinked and at the bottom it says fast 10 times. And I can even click on this button here and change it as I desire right from here. That's eight times, 20 times, four times, two times, uh, whatever speed you want to pick. But if I play that clip now, you'll see it's going to run, run much faster. So take a look at that. So it almost looks like this is fast forwarding. I could have also went over here. Let me pause this. Uh, clicked on this button here and went to slow and made it run half the speed of the actual clip. So you can make them go slower or faster or type on custom speed and pick the speed that you want right from here. So that's fantastic. You can get great effects such as slow motion using these tactics or effects like fast forwarding. The next thing I want to talk about is the beat detection feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my audio section here and I'm going to pick one of these uh, available audio streams. These are included with your download. Or if you want, you can go to Film Stocks, which is right over here. You can go to Film Stocks, which is this website, and you can download audio, videos, effects if you subscribe to the service. Okay, just in case you have all these assets available uh, for free, but you can get more from Film Stocks if you so desire. So I'm going to grab the audio right over here. Uh, let's uh, go to the electronic music 
and I'm gonna grab the perfect Muse audio. First, I'm gonna download it by clicking this button. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it and say beat detection before I drag and put it here. I'm gonna say right click and say beat detection. I'm gonna tap on it and it's going to detect all the beats in this music, all right? And you're gonna see this uh, little icon here that says beat detection is complete. So when I grab this and put it here, you're, not, you're noticing that we have these red symbols at the bottom. These are exactly all the beats in the music. So I'm gonna play this, take a look at what happens. So every time the cursor passes a red dot over here, it actually is a beat. So what you can do is just to give an example, you can grab a clip and you can put it right there and make it in sync with the actual beat. Put this here, put this right here, put this here. I'm gonna grab this guy, put it right here. Let me just go like that, okay? So take a look at this. I'm gonna play this. So every time the music changes its tune, so does your video clip, so everything just makes sense. So that's also the beat detection feature that will allow you to easily create amazing movies based on the tune and beats of a music. Filmora 9 also allows you to use amazing green screen functions once you get to that point. These tools can create real movie-like effects and are the basis of Hollywood-style movies. Filmora 9 gives you all the tools needed to go green and create amazing effects, as you can see. Now, finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this movie clip to my desktop so I can actually upload it or use it for future. So I have it all stitched together here. One thing that's missing here is music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my audio. I'm going to grab this music file from, the, uh, from earlier. Again, these are included for free, but you can go to Film Stocks right here to get more. But I'm going to be using this one right here for this uh, for this uh, example. So the music is at the bottom in its own little track. So that's a track, that's the video track, and that's the title track. These are the titles, the video clips, and the music. I am going to zoom out of my track, of my uh, timeline, so I can see the full thing. And I'm going to make sure that I trim this audio to the size of the actual movie clip, as you can see. Now I can click on zoom in again, so I can see the whole thing. It's right here. And let's see, let's quickly preview this before we export. I'm gonna click play. Okay, so that's that. So what I do is I go up here, I click on export, I get a little window that loads up. It takes a couple seconds here, and that's the window that we end up getting. That's the export window. So what I wanna do is I wanna pick a format. MP4 is the format you wanna choose, especially if you're uploading to YouTube. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna give it a title. So I'm gonna say my car, all right? Then you say save to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna to go to my downloads and save it right here, select folder. And then you pick the resolution, which is 1080p, the frame rate, the size of the file is gonna be 17 megabytes and then I simply click export, or I can go over here and pick device presets, or I can go straight to YouTube and upload it directly to YouTube right from here by signing in. But right now I'm gonna go to local, I'm gonna click export, and as you can see, we can see the exportation process right over here, and the process is now complete, so let's play to see what it looks like. All right, so that's my final movie, let's uh, play. Alright, so that's it. That was a quick example. Uh, if you want to download Filmora, go down. The links are down below. It's going to be free to download for Mac or PC. And of course, you can buy it if you want to use it for long term 
and the prices are very affordable, go check them out on the actual website.